I've also set up uh, a horizontal sh a pan sorry, a vertical shot, um, horizontal even. I've almost set up a horizontal shot as well. Hello, welcome back. Um, we're out and about again today. Saturday afternoon, had a bit of a lay-in this weekend. Um, thought I'd come over, I've got the family with me, wife and the kids. Um, thought we'd come over and have a bit of a look at uh, New Brighton. Birch Rock Lighthouse down at the end there. The breakwaters, he's been photographed loads of times. Um, yeah, there's tides out, it's not ideal, conditions are not great. But uh, I thought I'd bring the camera, bring you along with me, and if I manage to find an image or anything, I'll uh, set up and run you through it. Uh, I like these breakwaters, they're pretty cool. Um, I photographed them a couple of times. Um, I'll show you a couple of the images that I got last time. And uh, let me know what you think. Conditions are always changing, the tide comes in quite quick here. The images I do like are stood in these groins when the water's in and the tide's in. But uh, you've got to be a brave person to be doing that. So I'm working on it, I'm working on it. But anyway, for now I'm going to walk around, see if I can find the composition, see if I can set up for something. And I'll uh, get back to you as soon as I do. See you in a bit. composition that I'm going to start the, the clouds have got some cracking texture in them and uh, so I'm just going to look around and see if I can find something that catches my eye that I can actually make a photograph out of and what I'm looking at at the moment is I've got two little reflections of the breakwater or the, the sea defence whatever they call it um, I've got a, a low piece in the bottom it's covered in seaweed and texture and there's all sorts going on in it I've set the camera up um, so it's on a set of thirds, you've got a third at the bottom, a third in the centre and a third on the top with the clouds. Uh, two second timer, F9, it's coming up about 80th of a second. Um, I'm going to take a couple of exposures so that I can get all the detail. Um, there's a lot of detail in it and I want to try and make sure I've, I've overexposed it and underexposed it. That way I can get uh, um, the shadow detail up. So I'll take one that's overexposed. Uh, 30 of a second, which is blowing the sky out, but we'll be using the sky from one previous. And then I'm going to take one slightly underexposed, which is going to bring me the sky detail back in. Um, yeah, I think for a simple image, a square crop, I would have thought. Um, I think it works quite nicely. That'll do for a start for today. So, yeah, here it is. with an idea um, because the beach is quite empty and the tide's out and the water's gone out I'm toying with the idea there's a guy down here with a high-vis jacket on and he's fishing um, I've put him on the bottom lower thirds and I've got all this lovely gradient in the sky as you can see there um, I just thought it made an image very very simple very very minimalistic and there's this tiny little man fishing amongst all this vast emptiness um, yeah I think it works all right we're F9 again, um, ISO 200 on the Fuji, and 
It is just as simple as that. So I'll put it on a two second timer, make sure it's all nice and steady, and uh, I'm going to take the image. shot. Um, as you can see probably behind me there's a, a bit of an S in the in the water that's left. Um, it leads you out to such a textured such a nice looking sky. Um, I think I can make quite a nice minimal image out of it. So I've set the camera up. Uh, we set the camera up with the horizon on the lower third line. Um, I always use a grid in my camera. Um, not everyone likes to use things like that, but I like to use a grid. It does give me that perfect central line. It gives me a nice square set horizon as well. So I've set this up with the line, with the water leading in from the bottom left, uh, leading through the image to the center, and then beyond it is just this massive sky, full of texture, full of color and character. Uh, possibly turn this to a monochrome. The only thing in this in image is, in, I'm not sure whether you're keen on it, is if you look over that direction behind the camera, uh, you can see the windmills in the distance, but uh, they're here. They're, they're part of the landscape now, so we have to learn to live with them. What I might do is I'll do an image with them and I'll clone them out. I know some people don't agree with cloning, but I do. Um, each to their own, I suppose. I'll do one with them left in and I'll do one with them taken out. Um, let me know in the comments below and uh, tell me what you think. Do you prefer them with? Do you prefer them without? Are you one of these people that likes to leave uh, the landscape as you found it? Um, it's six one after the other, I think. But yeah, I'm going to take the image and uh, I'll show you. What you think. I'm also going to change the exposure time and I'm going to try and fit a polarizer to the front. Now, I'm using my Fuji today just because it's a lightweight day out with the family, not with the family because they're over there walking around. Yeah, I've got some small polarizers, so if I can get one fitted to the lens, I'm going to see if I can take the glare out of the water. Um, but the water's actually working in my favour at the moment because it's quite bright, it's the same sort of colour as the sky. So I think it'll probably work. Uh, but these are small, cheap screw on filters. You don't have to spend a lot of money, as you probably know if you've watched my other vlogs. Um, I use Lee filters and they're very, very expensive. Uh, Gary at the moment that comes out with me that he's also seen before, he doesn't use, he hasn't got any filters and I've said to him, he said, don't go out spending a lot of money on filters. If you're new to photography and you're new to getting into this, you don't have to. Um, this polarizer on the front probably cost me less than £10. Um, and in all fairness, it works. It does the job. I tend to use them more because I'm carrying my smaller bag and my lightweight stuff or I'm going somewhere where it's not viable to carry me big kit. So don't think you have to go out there and spend an awful lot of money on expensive kit. Uh, you really don't when you're starting out. So yeah, F10, 60th of a second, uh, polarizer on, just to take a bit of the glare out. The sky is absolutely amazing. So I think that's a really nice image. And there's a little bit of color over in the background. So enjoy the image. I'm walking back up. Um, I just want to show you a few images from what I've taken from down this beach or down at New Brighton before. Um, we had a really dark moody sky and the light shone through and it was really really nice. Um, the sun sets over that direction so it set a really nice cast, colour cast over the metalwork in the background and the cranes. Um, so I'll show you them. 
Um, I've also taken a couple of images looking back this way and uh, we used the water line as a lead in as well. So I'll show you those as well. I'm going to try and catch up with a few of the images I've taken in the past because I've got loads of images in stock. Um, if you check out my Flickr, you'll see a lot of my older stuff. Um, so I want to try and catch up a few images. I'm new to vlogging. I just want to show you a few of the images that I've taken in the past and hope to get better images in the future. So why I do that, enjoy these images, listen to a bit of music, and I'll shut up for a minute. Catch you in a bit. I was down here um, after a bit of inspiration from a, a fellow YouTuber, if I can call him a fellow YouTuber, he's far more experienced than I am, um, Steve Onions, 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 sorry Steve, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name very well, um, and as you all know I'm not great with, with names. Um, inspiration was, he was down here a few weeks ago and he comes down with film cameras, absolutely fantastic, I'll stick a link up there now for him. Um, check out his video. He's, he does things in such a unique way. He uses film, which is absolutely amazing this day and age because we're so used to digital, aren't we? Um, but as he was down, he was looking at different images and he was doing something a bit different than I've ever seen before. And he's inspired me to have a little bit of a look myself. So I'm going to do a few detail shots. Um, I probably won't talk you for all of them, but as I walk along this, this um, the sea defence, there's little images like this little square, the set of stairs. We've got all the textures and the green, the rust, and all the different texture and contrast to it. It's just really cool. Pipes coming out the wall. There's lots of different stairways. You've got the green lines. And he found a couple of images that stopped me in my tracks a little bit. I thought, yeah, they're quite different. So I'm going to have a walk along here. Uh, he tells me he doesn't have exclusive rights of uh, New Brighton. Thanks, that means I can have a go. Um, yeah, I'm going to pop up a few images if I find a few. Uh, let me know what you think. Is it a bit different? Did you like it? And also, like I say, check out Stephen. Yeah, enjoy these images. simple composition. Um, I've put the cheap 10 stop on again, taking a couple of images. This marker's quite nice. I'm set at f11 to give me about 25 to 30 second exposure. Um, I've taken a few images. Uh, there's a cormorant or something sitting on the top of the post. Um, obviously on a long exposure it's very very difficult to, to get the cormorant sharp. Um, so I've taken a a faster exposure and I've also taken a longer exposure and uh, I'm going to try and get the cormorant um, sharp. Now I'm assuming it's a cormorant, I'm not very good on my wildlife but the way he's sitting there with his wings out makes, you know, makes me think he is. Uh, I like the grey sky, I like the minimalistic stuff so I think it'll work quite nicely. So uh, yeah, time for a cup of coffee, have a look at these and tell me what you think.
We've caught me mid-flow. Um, I've just got the camera out. I just thought I'd take a couple more images before the, the day's over. Um, I've just missed the storm, to be honest. We were sat inside the coffee shop having a brew, and this clouds and stuff behind me is absolutely fantastic, but I've just missed the best of that, I think. But I'm going to stay around and see if I can find something a little bit better in a minute. But at the moment, I'm just taking a couple of long exposures of this. We've got the leading line leading you out to the little marker point, and on this side, we've got uh, Perch Rock Lighthouse. Um, I've just taken a 30-second exposure. Um, if I can get it back up again, come back. My camera's gone to sleep. Uh, just taking a 30-second exposure. Looks quite nice, actually. You've got some wispy clouds, or so some big heavy clouds moving across the sky, and a bit of a leading line going out to that post. So the rain's just about to come in, but I feel of it on my face. It looks like it's coming again. So I'm going to move around, take a couple of these exposures down here. Um, there's some photographers back up behind me, so I don't want to be in their way for too long. Um, if I don't check out between now and when I go home, uh, so thanks for watching. Uh, please stick around, please like, please subscribe, uh, share and tell a friend maybe. Um, I do, uh, do get out as much as I can, and I do quite like to sort of mix it up a bit. So yeah, stick with me, hit the notification bell, um, you'll get notified next time I put a video out. So until then, take it easy, catch you again, bye bye. finish off here I say thanks for watching um, um, hit the notification bell um, you'll get notified when I put videos out at the moment I'm putting out a video every Sunday so I'm gonna try and stick to it if I can it was a little bit of a weird video um, just wanted to come and have a play with something a bit different uh, rather than the big Vista landscapes so that's a uh, new Brighton done I think thanks for watching and uh, ciao for now <laughs>